Hey everybody, I'm Mark Call from Casting Crowns, and I want to invite you guys today to look at John chapter 4, the story of the woman at the well. Uh, this lady uh, gets up one day and decides to go to the well. Uh, she goes in the middle of the day, hottest part of the day, because everybody kind of knows her already for the decisions that she's made and the stuff she's done. So she doesn't go in the morning with everybody else. She goes in the middle of the day, and there she meets Jesus. You know, Jesus did more ministry on the way to do ministry than most of us will ever do. Uh, it wasn't always about big moments and big sermons and big crowds. I mean, it was all about the person that he met at the time. So he meets this lady at the, probably the lowest, one of the lowest moments in her life, and he starts talking to her about water. And you watch this conversation happen. She's talking about earthly water. He's talking about Jesus water, and they can't ever seem to come together. Right? It's like she's standing by, in her mind, she's standing by a well and she's talking to this man, but in reality, she's standing by a hole in the ground and she's talking to the well and she doesn't get it. And he starts telling her that it, this water is going to leave you thirsty, but if you'll let me be the well you draw from, you won't be thirsty anymore. Not only will you not be thirsty, but you're going to have a well of living water coming out of you. And man, I read that one day and it just hit me. That I, half the time I come to Jesus, I've already got my well figured out. I've already got what I think is going to do it for me. I just need him to sort of sprinkle some magic Jesus dust on my plans so I can move on. And what Jesus is saying is the wells that you draw from in life, they were never created to complete you. Your marriage was not there, not created to complete you. Your wife and your husband isn't set up for that. You complete me is a line in a movie. Okay? In reality, Jesus completes me. I pour in to my spouse. My friendships, my friends, people's approval, that's not going to complete me. Just like Jesus said about this well, he said, if you drink from this, you're going to be thirsty again. And if what keeps me going is my friendships and people's opinion of me, that's going to leave me dry one day. Jesus has to be the well I have to pour into my friendship. My career can come and go. We know that in this economy. If my career is the well that I draw from, I'm going to be thirsty again. So what I think he's saying right here, what he's saying to me is, Mark, I got to be the well for you, bro. You can't drain the life out of people. You can't drain the life out of your kids and your marriage and your career and your talent because that's not going to do it. Only I can fill you. So what I want to challenge you to do is dive into the Word. Start feeding yourself as a believer. Start seeing that uh, I've got to go to Him first. And I've got to fill up on him, fill up on his word. Start with a little book. Start with, start with the book of John even. Just walk through the life of Jesus and let him start feeding you. And then you go pour into the world.